What up Ninja Clan and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am as always your host the Atomic Ninja G and today we are going to spend some time focusing on the special coaches. That's right we're going to spend some time unlocking them and talking about how to unlock new coaches. We're going to be trading with them, battling with them, talking to them and basically doing everything we can with them until completion. So let's get to that computer and call somebody over. All right, so as you can see, at the top here, we have all eight gym leaders from Paldea. Larry's got his back to us. I'm not sure if that's because we've called him over already, or if that's literally just his photo because it's Larry, right? <laughs> uh, we'll find out once we start talking to all of these guys. So we've got all those unlocked. How do you unlock them? It's really, really simple. All you have to do is complete the story of the whole game. So you need to have completed the whole main story in Paldea, the Teal Mask, and the Indigo Disc as well. These three, however, Nomona, Arvan, and Penny, a little bit more difficult. So you have to do the same thing as these guys, complete the whole story and the DLC. You also have to complete the epilogue, and you have to win the Ace Academy tournament which you can register for at the front desk of the academy over in Paldea. But what about the rest of these guys, these big blank question mark spaces? That's what we're going to talk about right now. So every single one of these blank spaces require you to trade with certain amounts of other trainers. So if you trade with three special coaches, you will unlock the majority of these people. There are two that require you to trade with five, and there's one that requires you to trade with at least eight. And then you will unlock everything. However, there are a few of them that have trading plus extra conditions. But before we go into that, let's talk about some rules when it comes to trading with special coaches. So you will need to have three unique conversations with each special coach before you can trade with them. You cannot trade shinies with a special coach. You cannot trade legendary Pokemon with a special coach. And you cannot trade any Pokemon where you are not the original trainer. And also remember guys, you can only have two special coaches at the academy at any given time. So if you try to bring in a third and you've already got two there, then the game will pick one at random and kick that one out. Okay, so we're going to start with Larry here because I know we've had a conversation with him. We've battled with him, but I don't know if that counts as three unique conversations. So here we go. Oh, you again. Uh, I tried out those Castellonicones. Yep, yeah, we discussed. They were far more satisfying than I expected. The texture was nice and fluffy, but the flavour was so rich, almost decadent. The knackery salt ice cream from Sugar and Ice, or Sugar and Ice, back in Paldea is hard to beat, but Castell Castellia cones definitely come close, since they contain only the finest ingredients. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go on like that. It's just that the best part of travelling is trying out all the local dishes, if you ask me. The topic tends to make me talkative. Oh, okay. There's something special about having nice familiar rice bowls once you've gone back home, too. Okay. Uh, you have a certain look, a look that says you want to battle me. No, what I want to do is trade with you. Ah, my mistake, I suppose. Apologies. Right, so he's been here twice. So let's kick him out. Um, and yeah, I think that's just his... Oh, can I just click on his profile? Ah! <laughs> uh, they're already here. Yeah. Can I... How do I... Can I kick him out? Can I... How do I... Check support board. What does that do? Can I view details? Can I make him leave? Uh, you received Shakers of Salty Herba Mystica. That's going to come into play later on. Invited two times. Okay. So, how do I... Nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so let's invite... Because I guess you can't kick them out, which is kind of sad. Um, so, to unlock some of the next ones, I need to trade with at least three of them. So, let's invite Iono. There we go. And we're going to talk to her. 
because she's like my second favourite gym leader. Yo, yo, your eyeballs are mine caught in my electroweb. Who's so what's it? Hey, oh no, hello, hello, aloha, ciao, and bonjour. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's take on Iono. Whereabouts is she hanging out? Oh, she's talking to Larry. She's talking to Larry. Look at that, gym buddies hanging out. Yo, Larry, how come you don't face the camera in your gym leader pick? Oh, yeah. I prefer to keep a low profile. <laughs> if people knew my face, I'd run the risk of drawing crowds. That'd make it hard to get into restaurants. Or worse, I could get banned for causing a disturbance in one. <laughs> Hold up, back up. You don't want people to recognise you? Wait, that's not even the bonkerest thing part. What? Bonkeriest part. <laughs> that's a hard word. How do you get the okay to do yours different? Everyone else has a regular pick. Oh, that's just a matter of knowing who to talk to. It comes with experience, I suppose. Dang, you're adulting like a pro, Larry. Uh, at least somebody is. All right. It's G. Thanks for requesting this collab. Let me hit you up with... What? Let me hit you with the eyeball snatching title I brainstormed for my next stream. Gym leader Iono infiltrates this weird academy. You won't believe what she finds. <laughs> now we just need the weird, unbelievable stuff. What do you think I should focus on? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not... I mean, none of those things are particularly weird. But let's go with the director. Because he is a bit flamboyant. The director, like the boss man guy, Yeshua, sounds kind of boring. Uh, risky. <laughs> if I bring on a snoozer guest, that'd be a real top 10 Iono betrays moment. Um, I'll do some digging then. Thanks for the tip, friendo. Now, I don't know about you, but I think it's time I started getting ready for my next stream. Okay, so what we're going to do now is invite over somebody else and one of those will get kicked out. Oh, and I've gone to the wrong place. Actually, can I switch between those two? I should check at some point. Right. Now, let's bring over Rhyme. And remember now, every time you call somebody over, it's going to cost you 200 um, battle points. So we'll call over Rhyme, and either Larry or Iono will get kicked out. Part of me is hoping it's Larry, so that I can call him back in. You know who it is, baby. Someone here asked for a rhyme feature, huh? Time to show you all how to unleash the spirit. All right. It's rhyme time. <laughs> oh, she's taking a long time to load. There we go. Right, e ho. This I own. So Larry's been kicked out. So that's kind of good for us. We'll talk to rhyme. Hopefully it's like the, the first one you invite in is the first one to leave. Uh, what's good, G, my little challenger? People all around the world know who the one and only MC of RIP is. So you got a, so you got a lot of nerve having me fly all the way here for a ghostly guest verse. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm just kidding. If a champion like you calls with a nice offer, you know I'm picking up. All right. So you want me to treat these blueberry kids to a lyrical lesson? I'm ready. Um, yeah, give him some bars, mate. Drop that mic. Ha! You're down to go with the flow, huh, kid? Don't worry, I'll teach him a lesson on how to battle too. Good for you. Right, if we talk to her again... Let me hear it, G. Ready to square up? Yes. I'm afraid. Ha! You already know. Let's go head to head and soul to soul. Oh, so we're going to battle now. Awesome. So... We'll do this, and then we'll battle I Oh No. Um, because I don't necessarily need to battle them. But you need to battle them before you can trade. So, we may as well. Let's go ho ho. Oh, of course, it's a double battle. Because we're in the academy. Here we go. Now, these battles should be fairly simple, he says confidently. Because all of my team is now level 100. So, uh, Night Slash on him. And then... Oh, does this hit everything? 
uh, attacks the opposing Pokemon. So let's use Sunny Day, and then we will do that. Ah, guys, I've just realized my sound is off. Really sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just took a look at my stat, my, uh, my OBS, and I'm like, hang on a second, there's no sound coming through. <laughs> sorry, guys. That must have been really boring. I do apologize. But here we go. Sound is back. We're all good. <laughs> I'm such a muppet. <laughs> all right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Mimikyu, we're leaving Mimikyu alone a minute because, uh Let's take on both of them. There we go, he's down. Mimikyu is going to be a pain in the butt, so we're going to leave Mimikyu to last, basically. Um, I find that is the best way to deal with double battles, is leaving one that comes out first. There we go, his thing is down. Good, good, good. And he's in his play rough. And we're going to avoid the attack. Fantasmic. Uh, Houndstone. Okay. We're doing pretty well, Beer. We're doing okie dokie. And uh, let's use Lava. Oh, it's going to hit everyone. Okay, let's not use Lava Plume. Uh, let's take out this guy. That's a chicken. Oh, no. Good job. Good job. We've got Entei on this. Entei should now take him out. And that should be three down, right? So she should have two left. Boom. Oh, ouch. Alright, maybe we should take out that Mimikyu. Set up a spirit bomb. Alright. Thank you, Goku. Oh, it's got pressure. Under pressure. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, spirit break is super effective. And... I mean, eruption doesn't affect him, so we may as well use eruption. Oh, and as you can see, I've taken Hypnosis and False Swipe away from Iron Valiant uh, because I don't need to catch anything anymore. So I have added some moves to Iron Valiant that I quite like to have. Spirit Break is one of my faves, so that's in there. And I think I give it Brick Break as well because uh, I intend to use it for a lot of battling and stuff. So being able to knock through Reflect um, and those kind of shields and stuff is great. So she should have one left now, right? And she's going to terrestrialize, and it's going to be ghost. And if I remember correctly, dark is good against ghost, right? I'm not going to use that because psychic's not really going to be doing super effective stuff. I don't, you know what? I'm really terrible at remembering what's good against what. I really am. Here we go. It's ram time. Okay, we got a ghost for a host. <laughs> It's a crystallized toxicity. Let's go, ho, ho, Merry a Christmas. There you go, done and dusted. Eruption production. <laughs> Look at me dropping rhymes. <laughs> ah, guys, I appreciate you sticking around. <laughs> Okie dokie. There we go, you defeated Jim Rhyme Leader. No? Rhyme, the gym leader. <laughs> oh, my days. I'm shook. This L took me by surprise. This battle rattled my bones and my pride. And we get a lot of money for this, which is great. If you need to stack up on money, this is the way to do it, guys. It is super, super fab. Ha! Great battle, chilling and thrilling. You got me into a corner, or in your corner, baby, in spirit. Not like I can actually tag in for you, you know? I'm gonna hook you up with a pair of kicks from my tour merch. Wear your soul on your shoes. What? Go sneakers? Oh, that sounds cool. The fans go wild for those things. So treasure them to your grave. Wow, okay. Uh, I'm genuinely gonna go check these out. Uh, shoes? Go sneakers. What a go sneakers. Oh, wow. Oh, that does not go with my outfit at all. I'm not going <laughs> to... Um, yeah, no, I can't. I, I can't in good conscience. I probably should change my shoes, because I'm not sure where these right ones go either. But, um, yeah, I can't in good conscience. 
Uh, oh no, I need to talk to Ayono, right? Do I? Hmm, let me check something. Let's just check this a real quick. Right, let's check her status. So she's been there one time. And she's been one time. He's been two times. So if we call him over, that should be three times for him now, right? So hopefully Ayono's the one who's going to be disappearing. And Rhyme should still be there. And they're going to interact with each other every single time. Fantastic. Thank you for doing business with us regarding the redesign of the Montenova Battle Court. Oh yeah, I forgot we hired you for that. No sweat, baby. You did right by us too. The new Battle Court's pitch perfect for live shows and as ghostly as I wanted. My sister loved her old rock court, but my houndstone couldn't burrow into that. I see. To be honest though, the project was a huge boon to it myself. Without it, I would have landed zero contracts that year. Okay. <laughs> sure, you're not a ghost type user, Larry. Sometimes seems like you're barely staying alive. <laughs> wow. Alright, Larry, let's have a conversation you and I. By the way, uh, have you had a chance to visit the cafeteria here at Blueberry Academy? Yes. Uh, it's pretty nice, isn't it? They season the food with a heavy hand, which the students here prefer, I suppose. But the sheer quantity is what's truly noteworthy. The mountain of fries you get when you order the Academy fries nearly made me dance. Okay, wow. If you haven't tried it for yourself, I would definitely recommend it. Okay. You know, I didn't expect you to pay so much attention to my ramblings. You really are a strange one, aren't you? Thanks. Well, that suits me just fine. Maybe you'd even be interested in trading Pokemon with me. Hooray! So, when we talk about three individual conversations, what they really mean is inviting them over three times. Yes, I would trade Pokemon with you. I'll be putting up a Dunsparce. Nice, or Dunsparce. Uh, but you can trade whatever Pokemon you like. Uh, this is my box of random things that I caught. Or that I have, at least. So, let's have a look and see. What would I like to trade Larry? Um, he's He does fly-in stuff, right? Let's trade him a Dodrio. He doesn't have any shiny. It's, yeah, it's fine. Do you want to trade Dodrio for my Dundon Spass? Yes, I do. Because he has flying and normal types. That's his thing, right? So, here we go. Caught you on a whim. And we're trading with Larry. This is so cool. I'm really, I'm loving this. I am wondering why we can't just literally hand them to each other. Why we have to stand next to each other and have that. And there we go. We've got Dundon Spass. So I may even start a new box just for special trades. A Dodrio. Interesting. This will be a fun to raise. Thank you for the trade. No worries. I think it goes with your team as well. I'm not going to do that every single time, by the way. Um, it just happens to be that I like Larry, that I remember what type he is. <laughs> okay, doggy, what do you want to do? No, I don't want to contribute, but I will. Oh, but if you go here and push X, you can do that. So now, as you can see, around Larry's profile, we have a golden ring. And that means that we have traded with him and basically done everything we can do with him. So I'm going to go off and do the same thing with Iono and Rhyme. And I'll bring you guys back in when I'm done. And welcome back, guys. So I am now finished trading with Iono and Rhyme. So if we head back to the PC, we should see that I have unlocked a whole bunch more characters. Here we go. Let's check this out. And we should have some more unlocked. Wow! Look at that. We now have many, many more unlocked. So let's talk about these guys for a second. So here we have Clavel, you got Jack, uh, and a bunch of other people whose names I can't remember. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so Clavel and Jack here, once you trade with three special coaches, as we've done with Iono, Larry, and Rhyme, then you will unlock these guys automatically. The rest of these guys, so these four and these three down, why can't I go down? There you go. These three down the bottom, these guys, you have to take all of their classes and finish all of their conversations 
and trade with three special coaches. So these guys, just three special coaches. These guys, you need to go to the academy, you need to finish all of their classes and finish their conversations around the academy. This guy is the hardest one to complete because he requires Sweet Herba Mystica to actually complete his conversation. Now, what I didn't know when I did this was if you do Catty and you trade items with her and she gives you a gift, she will actually give you Sweet Herba Mystica. So one way of getting Herba Mystica for this guy is just by trading items or getting her to give you a gift of Sweet Herba Mystica. I went off and I did a bunch of terror raids until I got some, which is how my Pokemon are now level 100, because I got a whole bunch of rare candy looking for Sweet Turbo Mystica to give to this guy, and I just used rare candy to level him up. Now, let's talk about these missing three really quick. So the two above here, above Hassel and above this guy whose name I can't remember, I do wish it would tell you their names on the screen, but it doesn't, so that's okay. So the two above there, basically to unlock those two, you need to trade with five special coaches. And to unlock the one in the middle here between the nurse and Nimona, you need to trade with eight special coaches. So guys, I'm gonna do that off camera because obviously you guys don't need to be seeing me do this eight times because you know what to do now. You bring a coach over three times, you chat, you battle, you trade, and I bring you guys back in when this board is complete. And welcome back guys, so as you can see I've got four gold rings, that's right, and I have just invited Brassius back for the third time, so I should be able now to go and trade with him, getting myself five gold rings, five gold rings, <laughs> uh, which should unlock two more characters, here we go, avant-garde, uh, there was a silk like tarantulas, Spun into masterful sculptures that whisk one around like fantastic elevators. Okay. I rode up and down countless times for the sheer joy of it, upon which I gradually became all tangled up in the webbing and was transformed into a cocoon. Okay. That's right. Before I even realized what was happening, I myself had become part of the fi fibrous art. It was wondrous. Uh, I don't get it, but I'll tell him it sounds great just because I want him to trade with me. <laughs> yes! You and I truly understand one another. You should come join me as an apprentice in the future, G. I'll teach you all I know. I am good, thanks. Uh, you know, now that I think back on my visit, that gallery had no paintings on display. It was... Uh, was it truly an art gallery at all? Hmm. Ah, one doesn't ever cease. There we go. Ah! I suppose it matters not. Talking to you, G, is a pleasure regardless. One that makes me forget time is even passing. I imagine you must feel the same. Quite the opposite. <laughs> and for such a like-minded ally in art, I have a proposal to make. Would you like to engage in an artistic exchange of Pokemon with me? Yes. I would like to trade Pokemon with you. Very good. Uh, I will offer up one of my Sunflora. How will you meet such a challenge? I'm going to give you whatever's next in line, mate. Because uh, I've now decided I've got a trainer box. So there's Larry, there's Iono, there's um, uh, Rhyme, and there's Catty. And you, my friend, get an Inkay. <laughs> uh, will you exchange Inkay for my Sunflora? Yes, yes, I will. Let's go. Let's not bother handing them to each other. We'll just send it via link trade. It'll be great. <laughs> uh, it's important to mention that all of these Pokemon that you get from the gym leaders all come with a ribbon, which basically say they uh, were part... Uh, they used to belong to another great trainer, and the ribbon does tell you which trainer they come from as well, just in case you wanted to, uh, to know. Inkay, what a beguiling choice. Begu I, think, I think that's what I said. Uh, I can feel inspiration welling up within me. Your eye for beauty delights me once again. Righto. Crack on, fella. Alright, let's take a quick... Is it back? No, boxes. So a quick look, and let me show you the ribbon real fast. 
So let's just go to Sunflora. And skip across. There we go. We got the partner ribbon. And if we click A, it tells you it's brass. This is Sunflora. A special ribbon was once partnered with a great trainer. Hooray! So if you ever need to know, or if you're ever not sure which one you traded with somebody, you just come onto the ribbon page. It tells you down the bottom there. Title conferred Brassius's Sunflower. Uh, and that's all those done there. So that's five. So if we go back to the computer now, we should have unlocked two more characters. And I can't remember who they are. <laughs> Let's have a look. There we go. That's right. It's these two. So we've unlocked these two. So basically... We just need to get all eight. Why can't I go down? Get all eight, and we'll get that last one there, and we'll have completed the whole board. And I'll bring you guys back in when we're there. And welcome back, guys. So here we go. I have got one more to go. We've invited Gersha twice. We're going to invite them again. Yep. And then we should have all eight. So where is they should? There we go. I just came back from climbing that big mountain in the polar biome. Uh, Sedotl and the rest were all hyped to be on a mountain other than Glacier <laughs> uh, I guess it rubbed off on me. I just couldn't resist and, well, I had a few runs on my board. Awesome. Oh, the snow was good. Yep, real good. I hadn't boarded in a long time, so I think I got a bit too fired up. <laughs> uh, you know, I'd made up my mind that I wouldn't snowboard anymore. But maybe I can from time to time, just when I'm here. Awesome. Trade with me! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm weak-willed, sorry. But if I'm gonna be uncool, I might as well lean into it. I've got another tiresome idea. What do you say we trade Pokemon? Yes. Just so I can unlock the board. Okay. Oh, you seriously want to? Well, okay. I'll be trading Setudl. What'll you pick? Uh, I will pick whatever's next in the box, mate. Uh, which is a seal. There we go. You may have a seal. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Hi, Seal. I'm really sorry who I'm trading you to. And there we go. And we have Setoddle. Setoddle? Is that how you say that? Is that a C? Like, is it like Ketoddle or Setoddle? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you know how to pronounce that. A Seal, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, it'd be way uncool if I raised your Pokemon poorly. I'll make sure to take good care of it. Please do. I have zero attachment to that Pokemon, but you take good care of that Pokemon. Now then, uh, the number of people you can trade with has increased with the computer. There it is. So let's see. Our last coach should be there, and there she is. It's Gita, uh, Master Champion of the Universe, He-Man. So here we go, that is how you unlock this entire board. So, just a quick reminder, these guys come automatic, finished all the main story. These guys will come when you finish the main story and do the DLC. Then you will unlock everything from Clavel, I think down to the nurse, by going to the Paldea Academy, or Uber Academy, and completing all the classes, then completing all their conversations afterward. It does take a while, and I will say, this guy, the most pointless class in the entire thing. Even the most pointless thing in the entire game. This, like, at least with everyone else, it kind of has stuff to do with Pokemon, and it kind of does teach you things about Pokemon. This one, the Math Lady, who apparently is Rhyme's sister. This lady's called Time. I struggled with this class because I'm not really good at maths, but I learned a lot of things about like super effective moves, double damage, all that kind of stuff. That was really, really cool. Um, you know, like the art guy, eh, you kind of might learn one or two things. It's kind of cool, right? But seriously, this guy, 
the most pointless class ever. Had zero to do with anything to do with Pokemon. And if you don't play with the volume on, this class, again, completely pointless. Nintendo, sort it out. Anyway, <laughs> back to the original point. Uh, so these guys do all the classes, do all the conversations, get them done. Then these two, you need to trade with five special coaches or get five gold rings. Five gold rings! And then to get Gita, you need to finish the DLC or finish the entire story and trade with eight and get eight gold rings. Eight gold rings! <laughs> And that is that. That's how you unlock all of these guys. Now then, I'm actually going to head back to Uber Academy because there is something that I discovered as I was wandering around that I'm really interested to do. So we're going to go there, we're going to do that, and then we've got one more thing to do, and then we'll call it a day. And welcome back, guys. So here we are at Uber Academy once again. And if you go to the map here and you guys may have found this straight away it took me forever to do this you will see that i have basically completed all the conversations in all the places apart from one there's these two guys from uh team star and i'm not gonna lie guys i looked all over this place i looked upstairs downstairs in my ladies chamber i looked everywhere to try and find these guys and it turns out they are right here. I was looking for them in their Team Star uniforms, and it's only that I walked past this guy and recognized the hair that I was like, hang on a second. It's these guys. These are the Team Star leaders. So I have had one conversation with them because I had to walk up to them and check it was actually them. And basically what they're asking me to do is tutor the other two Team Star leaders because they're failing in classes. So they're asking me to tutor them. Uh, and to help them out. So that's basically what's happening here. So we're going to carry on this conversation and let's see what happens. Are you free right now to help us with some tutoring, G? Yes, I am. I have no idea what's about to happen. Fantastic. Come on then. We'll show you to the classroom. Okay. This could be like a 10 second thing. This could be like a 10 hour thing. I have no idea what's about to happen. Okay. What's up, gang? Studying hard, I hope. Is that the other two? Good grief, they look so different outside their uniforms. Well, we were before you and your big mouth showed up. Here to check we're not slacking off, are you? Pretty much, your eyes start glazing over the second I'm out the door. Tell me I'm wrong. Ah, Lady Airy, clad in her academy uniform. I feel my eyes sharpen and my mind focus each time this vision returns to greet me. <laughs> if only that focus were helpful for your studies, Atticus. Sorry, I keep distracting you. Oh, what's this? My ninja senses detect the presence of another behind thee, Lady Airy. Come, step forward, knave, uh, that we might see thy face. It is I! The Atomic Ninja G! But Atomic Ninja G wouldn't fit inside the box, so it's just G. <laughs> <gasps> you? What the? No! No, no, no! Why is this happening? Sorry. Ah. I should have surmised as much. The strength of thy spirit precedes thee as ever, good fellow. Never mind that. Gia Kamo. Gia Kaka. That guy. Explain what's G doing here. <laughs> hey now, be nice. G, wait, no, Professor G is gonna be your tutor. That's right, Professor G. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, glad tidings. I am truly grateful to hear it. Okay. He's not happy. He's gonna be what? Since when? You can't just go stomping around deciding stuff like this without asking anyone. Giacom. Giacomo? We'll go Giacomo. And you. We don't need a tutor. Do us a favour and toddle on home, would you? Hey, I'm like champion of three regions, mate. Shush. Hey, Oti. Oh, is she going to get uh, all serious? G kindly agreed to come here and help us out. So taking, uh, talking to him 
with that kind of attitude, oh, she is, is unacceptable, right? Yeah, yeah, no, totally, I, sorry, Ari. Sorry, who? <laughs> wow, um, what I meant to say is, sorry, G, that is Grandmaster Tuta G, thank you. <laughs> ah, Lady Ari in a menacing mood. What a vision of unusual rarity. Okay. Hey, don't worry about Ortega. He just doesn't want you to see him floundering. Hey guys, we seem to have lost Millie. Where'd she go? Lady Mella declared her wish to stretch her legs minutes before your arrival. She's departed rather suddenly and has not since returned, or returned since. Well, we all know Mella. She just wandered off because she doesn't feel like studying. I hate to say it, but I guess that's probably true. Sorry about this, G, but you think you could go find Mella for us? She'll be somewhere in the academy for sure. We'll stay on standby here and get everything prepped for our killer study sesh. Sorry to keep relying on you like this. I hope you find Millie without much trouble. Me too. So this does feel like a general wander around the academy kind of thing. So she's in the schoolyard. There she is, our fiery blossom herself. Melly. All right. This is legitimately the worst place to try and find somebody because it's so big. Uh, right. Let's have a look, see if we can find her. Uh, no. Stick to the middle a minute. No. Oh, is that her? That could be red here. Is, oh, hello, hang on, hang on. Is this it? No. It, do you know what it is? Okay. Wow, what a change. Oh, hey, G. Mella, is that you? Seriously? You have eyes, don't you? Obviously, it's Mella you're talking to. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm not decked out in my usual gear today. No, you're not. Ari made a big fuss about wearing our uniforms for this study group thing. So, yeah, it's not like I had much of a choice. But what are you doing here anyway? Uh, I've been looking for you. Whoa, what's the occasion? You itching for another showdown or something? Oh, I could easily take you now, ma'am. Oh, okay. You came here to bring me back to the classroom, huh? Yep. Guess time got away from me while I was admiring the veggies. Might as well get going, then. We could battle first if you want to. I'm happy to battle. No? Okay. <laughs> That's a shame. That's a grand, grand shame. She does march quite a bit, doesn't she? Step amigos. Melly, welcome back. And G, thanks so much for finding her. So, where, uh, where were you lazing around this time? Uh, you know, here and there. Huh. Lady Mella, is something amiss? Now, we're all good, right? The dream study team's all here. That's what counts. Time's a wasting, so I say let's hit the books. Take it away, Professor G. These three are counted on you. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about pineapples. What the heck? What do I do now? Do, do I have to... Okay, all you need to know is if you make more money than you spend, you're doing okay. And, uh, call your mother. And... Um, eat lots of pineapple. End of lesson. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> uh, so what do I legit? What do I do? Okay, so I'm not talking to them. Hope everyone tries their best. So do I just leave? I can't leave. So maybe I should just talk to everybody. Okay. How am I supposed to know this? I don't get it. Uh, see how it's going, okay? Don't think I didn't see you and your smug face hovering there. 
You've got some nerve. You realize I'm a second year student, right? I'm in. I'm an entire year above you. Okay. Ari says we need to let you help. So fine. You can try and tutor me or whatever. But I'll be shocked if you can get this literature stuff to sink in. Okay. I mean, how am I supposed to know how some made-up characters in a story are feeling? See, the protagonist in this book is the mom in a Mashhold family. Mousehold, okay, yeah. And her name is Mama Mousehold, okay? We're supposed to analyze why she calls Papa Mousehold terrible in the passage. Mama Mousehold's eyes glittered with tears. It was clear from the letter Papa Mousehold had left, she would never get to see him again. Toying with my feelings right to the end. You really are a terrible thing. Okay, it's because uh, she must truly think he's terrible. She must actually love him a lot. We can't know what's in her heart. Oh, okay. Um, so, she's mad because he's leaving, right? So, Mama Mousel's eyes gl glittered with tears. So, she's upset. Uh, it was clear from the letter that he left... She would never get to see him again. Toying with my feelings right to the end, you really are terrible. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I think it could be both. Okay, so, I think it's going to be that she loves him a lot. Because he's toying with her feelings. So she loves him, and she has emotions for him. She has feelings for him. So I think she loves him a lot, and she's calling him terrible because she loves him. So she calls him terrible, but she's actually loves him. Why doesn't she just say that then? There's no way that's the right answer. Uh, you sure about that, my man? I'd have thought you of all people would relate. What's that supposed to mean? Only that you do exactly the same thing with G. You're always snapping at him and being difficult, but you actually respect him a ton, don't you? What? You must be joking! There's no universe in which I respect this oaf even a little. Nah, -uh, no way, nope. And still, I like this kid better than Kieran. <laughs> oh, fine, okay. I guess people are tempted to say the opposite of what they mean sometimes. Hmm, this question makes more sense to me now, but just a tiny bit. Thanks for not being entirely useless. Well, thank you, Pipsqueak. All right, let's have a chat with you. Uh, what I know is what I is that I know not. I have fathomed the depths of my own ignorance. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ah, noble sensei, comest thou to proffer me a helping hand? Uh, yeah, why not? My deepest thanks. Math? Oh no, not maths. I can't do maths. Mathematics is the scourge of my existence. In particular, arithmetic. Tis an unsolvable mystery. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I'm rubbish. Oh, this is not going to go well. But since my true calling lies in garment design, I feel I need not concern myself with numbers. Not necessarily true. You have to measure stuff. I feel I need not concern myself with numbers. What? Uh, they have not to do with fashion after all. Uh, no, you'll need numbers. Because you have to measure stuff, man. Hmm. Skin in mathematics will still be of service to me, you say? I do not quite follow. I think I know what G is getting at. It's like with our Team Star outfits, remember? We ended up spending a lot of money on them. As indeed we should. One must not shy from expense when creating objects of great quality. But we had dreams of fabric left over after the outfits were made. Don't you think we could have saved more money there? I I cannot deny it. Tis a fair point. Yeah, see, you bought too much stuff because you didn't measure what you needed. Now that I think of it, the garment dimensions and the cost of materials demand calculation. That's right. And if selling one's creations, profit margins too come into play. That is also true. A designer who pays heed to such figures and sums would surely prove the superior artisan. Twould seem my thinking was naive. 
I had turned mine eyes from the inconvenient truth. That decides it. My heart is changed and my mind made up. From now on, I am Numbers Boy. <laughs> I will devote myself to the study of mathematics. Hiya! Hooray! Sorry I kind of butted in on your tutoring just now, G. I'm glad it all worked out, though. Thanks to you, Articus seems really inspired to study. He's the type that gets totally absorbed once he's fired up, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. Alright, do we still need to talk to Mela? Because we did everyone else. Man, this is hard. What are you looking at, G? Ah, oh, yeah. You're our tutor now, aren't you? Hopefully this is the last one. Alright then, I was just doing some practice questions. Here, let me know if you think this one's true or false. You can get new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. Uh, no, you can hatch them from eggs, so that would be false. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Can't go forgetting about them Pokemon you hatch from eggs. That's right. Good job, Mara. Okay, next one. Uh, what is the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when it terrestrializes? Uh, that is the Terra Jewel. Yeah, that sounds about right. Guess it makes sense you know all about this, seeing as you have your own Terra Orb. Either way, terrestrializing is pretty awesome, don't you think? Only outstanding students get to have a Terra Orb for themselves. Well, I'm sure you'll get one at some point. Okay, next one. Uh, this has zilch to do with the tests. But, uh, I want to ask you something. I don't know how to put it, though. It's a tricky one. you got to promise not to laugh, okay? Okay. So, uh, how important do you think dreams are? Uh, like when we sleep, I got future goals. Yes, I think you mean future goals, right? Exactly what I'm talking about. The future. What, uh, what we want to be when we're older. That kind of stuff. I've got no idea about all that right now. Meanwhile, most of my team's star seems like they've got this figured out. They've got proper dreams. Even the veggies in the schoolyard are doing their best to grow, you know? I wish I had their kind of direction. I mean, what'll happen if I never figure it out? What if I never find a dream to chase? Honestly, I get scared just thinking about it. Um, I don't ever remember her being an artist, but we could do that, I guess. Huh, how'd you know I joined the art club? Well, whatever. Well, whatever. That's just a hobby anyway. Not like I'm going to do art to earn a living. Wait, now that I think about it, Mr. Dragon Browse does art for his job. That's right. He always looks like he's having a great time at the school. It's like he's not working at all. If I could do something like that, if I could paint for a living, that'd be crazy fun. Do you think that could be it? Is it really okay to call that my dream? Yeah, I think so. Faux show. You're right. That's got to be it. That's my dream. Man, I feel like a whole new person. Thanks, G. No worries. Uh, you continue to tutor Team Star for a while. Alright. Then they passed all their exams and went home and were happily ever after. <laughs> Alright, gang. I'd say it's about time we cue the outro and wrap up today's study sesh. Yes, great effort all around. Does everyone feel like they made progress today? Totally. I sped through my practice questions like a champ. I guess G wasn't the world's worst tutor. Thanks. Well, I learned that even arithmetic can be enthralling when engaged with, um, when engaged with in earnest. Sorry. Thanks to our esteemed tutor, I feel enlivened as a rev room drenched in poison. Okay. Uh, I feel like someone's used defog on me, man. I'm seeing everything so clearly. The knowledge is just pouring in itself into my brain. Oh, that's brilliant, everyone. Well done. It sounds like this was our best session yet. 
It must have been thanks to your expert tutoring. Gee, it really was kind of you to help us out. We prepared a little thank you gift from all of us, so here you go. A gold bottle cap. I still don't know what bottle caps do, you know. You also obtained the Modified Uniform A, Modified Uniform B, Team Star Sunglasses, Team Star Gloves, Team Star Heels, Team Star Helmet, and Team Star Case. Hello! And let's do Team Star Pose together too. Here, I'll teach you how to do it. You learn the Hasta La Vista emote. What, guys? What are you all doing here? Penny! Yeesh, busted. Um... I, I was walking down the hall and, and saw you all in here. But that's fine. No one asked me to join, so I should just leave, shouldn't I? Sorry about that. See you later. Lady Penny, wait. It's not what you think, Penny. Hear us out. So what happened was, and basically the story is they didn't want her to worry about them because she had all this stuff going on, so they didn't tell her they were studying. Phew! I thought you'd all decided not to talk to me anymore. We would never. That's what it must have looked like though, huh? Sorry we made you worry. We just didn't want to drag you into another one of our messes. Our bad, Penny. Well, apology not accepted. Oh, wait, for real? Why do you guys get to decide that I'd just be weighed down by your problems? I, I'm not your friend. What? I, I'm your friend, right? So, you should come bother me more. Lean on me. That's what actually make me happy. Oh, Lady Penny. Uh, and if things get really bad, I can just hack into the school system and fix your grades anyway. What? That's a terrible idea. Yeah, isn't that taking it a bit far? Uh, sorry, that was a joke. I was trying to lighten things up in here, but I, I guess that was pretty out of character. Glad to hear it. If you were serious, I would have had to pummel some sense into you. But, but about before... I'm actually a pretty good tutor, you know. So feel free to ask me for help with studying and stuff anytime. Lady Penny, we are honoured by thy generosity. Uh, does that mean we gotta get lectured by G and Penny now? Well, I guess they are worse things. Well, thanks, fella. Haha, <laughs> careful, my man. That was dangerously close to a straight-up compliment. You can just come right out and say you like the idea. We all know you're thinking it. Indeed, I need not even use my ninja senses. So childishly apparent are thy true feelings. What? As if you know what's in my head? You guys haven't got the first clue about me. Try getting to know me better before spouting nonsense, huh? You're all the worst. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, I think we broke Ortega. <laughs> Alright, my guess is one more conversation and we're done. <laughs> I want to check out those uniforms though. That sounds like a lot of fun. Right, let's go check the map. Uh, where do you want to go? Let's have a look. See how we're done. We're done! Alright. I thought there might be one more. Right, let's go check out these uniforms. Because I did not realise I was going to get those. So let's have a look. Are they coming? Oh, they're on the bottom. Good. Modified uniform A. Okay. Not a fan. Not too bad. I like that one best so far. Oh, wait. Oh, is it just those two? Uh, does that Okay. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. I do I like the Kitakami thing better? Probably. Let's have a look. Yeah, I do. I'm sticking with that. Uh, but I do want to take a look at... Um, uh, yeah, no. We are Team Star Gloves. Uh, what did I have on before? Was it the red one? Yeah, I had that on before, right? I, I like that better. Um... 
Don't think they gave us a backpack. They, oh, wait. No, they gave me something. Team Star helmet. Yeah, not a chance. Team Star sunglasses. Oh, heck no. Um, How do I take these off? Uh, where's X? There we go. Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Uh, Team Star case. Oh, Sunflora. I own. Yep. Yeah. I do have lots, but we're going to stick with the dark green case anyway. Okay, guys. So there is one more thing that I want to do. So I'm going to head on over to the Crystal Pool in Kitakami. And I will meet you guys when I get there. And welcome back, guys. So here we are at the Crystal Pool pool in Kitakami and just over this bridge on that little stretch of land just above the sign is the place where we first battled uh, Melotic and the first time we came to the crystal pool which feels like such a long long time ago. Now why are we here? Well we are here because there is like this secret cutscene uh, end of a story thing that happens if you come to the crystal pool under a certain condition. You have to have completed certain things first and have a particular Pokemon in your team. And that Pokemon... Where's my button? There we go. And that Pokemon is Terrapagus. Now, it just has to be on your team. It doesn't have to be um, at the front. It could be at the bottom. It could be halfway through. It could be anyway. So let's just swap him with Lugia. It doesn't matter where on your team he is. As long as it's on your team, then that's grand. And all we're going to do is wander across this bridge to where we fought Melotic, and it should start the cutscene. Oh, here we go. I'm really looking forward to this. This is so cool. Huh. Terra Lumi. Ah, yeah. Well, now. This is a curious development. Have I somehow broken through the boundaries of space time? And who are you? Are you the AI? What's that you say? You thought I was some robot imbued with an AI personality? Hmm. Now that's an idea. If I could create such a thing, it would be quite helpful. I am Professor Turo. I research Pokemon in Area Zero, and yet... Ah, yes! What? This, this Pokemon, it's... Is this the Iron Serpent? Oh, okay. Uh, this is Maraidon. Is that right? So its name is Maraidon. Hmm. That's a good name. Again? From the clues you've already let slip, I suppose I would have to conclude... From my perspective, this must be the future. Though, of course, the complexities of space-time are beyond count. It's possible that our encounter might not even be occurring in a timeline connected to my own. Perhaps this meeting is nothing more than a fleeting miracle. Why don't we exchange as much useful data as we can in what little time that fate has gifted us. Um, okay. Do I chat with him? Okay. Is there anything that you would like to ask me? Oh. Uh. Why are you here? I don't precisely know the cause. I was analyzing some recent data in my secret lab one moment, and the next I was standing here before you. Perhaps this is the influence of the crystal Pokemon that lies dormant in that place. Or perhaps the cause lies with you and I. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? What are you studying right now? 
I am researching methods to catch Pokemon that live in different timelines. So I might transport them to the present day in my own timeline. It sounds fantastical, no doubt, but I am drafting plans now for a machine that may achieve it. You see, this book captured my imagination when I read it as a child and has never let go. But progress has been slow and beset by failures. I haven't left my lab in quite some time now. Apart from this, <laughs> I desperately hope that I might glean some new insight from this conversation so I can finally make some progress and return home. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? What about your family? What about Arvan? Oh, you even wish to know about my private life? I do have a family, a son. He is probably at home right now. Well, no, I suppose right now could be inaccurate. Whenever and wherever he is, I imagine he must be quite lonely. Oh, tell him about Arvan. Tell him. Go on, please tell him. Now, let us trade places in this exchange. I'd say the time has come for my own questions. Oh, okay. What is this place? It doesn't appear to be anywhere in Paldea. Uh... This is the land of Kitakami. This here is... Let's do Kitakami, because that's a bit more... So, we're at Kitakami's Crystal Pool, eh? I remember reading about it in certain texts. It's said to be a place where water wells up from the ground, imbued with terrestrial energy. It would seem that I have been shifted quite far in both space and time. My next question, then. That Pokemon you have, the Iron Serpent, uh, I mean, Maraidon, tell me more about it. Uh, I found it collapsed on a beach. It's a precious pattern to me. You can ride it all over the place. Um, all those things are true. We're going to go with this one. It seems more appropriate. Yes, well, your personal attachment to the creature has no meaningful relevance to the... Ah, uh, forgive me. Perhaps that was rude. Uh, yeah. Hmm. That book you have there. I don't recognize its cover. What is it? The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. W would you let me see it for just a moment? That's Briar's book, right? Descriptions of the Area Zero under depths. And, and a record of... Tarogopos's awakening. Who is this Briar to have written such work? Uh, she's a descendant. Uh, let's go with that one. Now, isn't that something? A descendant of the author of the original Violet book. Exploration runs in the family, I see. At any rate, this is a book that would ignite the imagination of any true scientist. I'm sorry, but I simply must have the time to read this book more thoroughly. Oh, the mist is closing in once again. I assume that means our time is near its end. Yes, yeah. I wish I could spend longer getting to know the Iron Serpent, but I must hurry. That book, I imagine it must be quite valuable. It wouldn't feel right for me to claim it without offering you some recompense. An exchange, then. Though I hate to part with something so precious to me, would you consider trading me that book for my copy of the Violet book? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me while I create a paradox. <laughs> Maybe that's what they call paradox Pokemon, because of this meeting. Uh, put the Violet book, because I'll be able to get her book at any time, right? This is the original Violet book. A record of the exploration to the great creator of Paldea, given to you by Professor Turo. The book has the name Turo written on it in clumsy handwriting. 
I appreciate this more than you can imagine. So he's physically here, and we can physically exchange items. Interesting. Perhaps I should take this chance to go home and enjoy a bit of downtime with a good book. Ha 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 ha. This is where we part, fellow adventurer and Iron Serpent. How lucky we were to meet across space and time. I bid you adieu. Oh, that was awesome. I appreciate for a lot of people that might be like not a lot, but I really appreciate it. Good job, Nintendo. Good job. Oh, interesting. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. So now we've got the Violet Book on the desk. The sun is going down in the background. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the music has changed as well. It's gone from that kind of like hustle bustle, like excitement of the classroom, chit chatty kind of ambiance <laughs> um, stuff. And it's gone down to this kind of like, I don't know, like instrumental. What's the Pokemon theme song? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So yeah, guys, for me, that is pretty much a definitive signal from Nintendo that we have now finished the game. And this truly is the end. And so with the Paldean sun setting over the hills, bringing the whole story of Pokemon Violet and Scarlet to an end, so ends the series. Guys, I want to say thank you so much to all of you who have supported me through this entire playthrough, through playing Violet, Teal Mask, Indigo Disc, and now the epilogue. Thank you so much for all your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, all that jazz. I super, super appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, Pokemon Violet was the first game that I really went all in on, on YouTube. It's been a big deal for me. It's been over a year's worth of playing on and off. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you guys have done to support. If you liked this video, click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Throw me a comment down. Let me know what you thought of that special ending. Let's have a conversation. Don't forget, if you want to help support the channel even more, you can check out our Patreon page. Uh, the link is in the description. But you know what? If you don't want to do any of that, that's fine. I just want to say thank you again for watching this video and traveling on this journey with me. At some point in the future, there may be more Pokemon games, which we are definitely going to dive into. And I may even take some time to play some old Pokemon games too. But until next time, I have been the Atomic Ninja G. You guys really have been awesome. And this has been Pokemon Violet.